your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. That's why Machinery Pete has partnered with Big Iron to launch Machinery Pete Auctions, a powerful resource connecting buyers and sellers of used farm equipment. Welcome to Machinery Pete TV Auction Edition. Thank you to Trelleborg and Mitas Tires as presenting sponsors of Machinery Pete TV Auction Edition. Hey, welcome to the Machinery Pete TV Auction Edition, folks. We're previewing our June 21st absolute online auction at MachineryPete.com. Tell you what, we've got some exciting equipment on this month's auction, including a 1982 John Deere 4640 out of Iowa with only 1,857 original hours on it. We're going to talk to the owner about that tractor and stay tuned. We have a very big announcement regarding our monthly Machine Repeat online auction. All this and more coming up on the Machine Repeat TV Auction Edition. All right, folks, let's do a quick spin around the block and highlight some equipment on our June 21st Machine Repeat monthly online auction. And we're going to start off in Illinois with the good folks at Pillar Equipment out of Silvis, Illinois. They've got a pair of UTVs on the sale, including this 2014 Kubota RTV 900 with 900 hours on it. Now, if green is more your color, how about this 2015 John Deere Gator XUV 825i with 1,622 hours on it. They've also got a pair of garden tractors, a late model 2018 John Deere X370. This thing's got 268 hours on it, 42 inch cut, two wheel drive, just over 21 horsepower engine. And then they also have a 2007 X Mark LCT 4818 KC zero turn with 416 hours on it. Now from Illinois, we're gonna hop down to Texas and we've got a couple of round balers being represented by our friends at North Texas Auctions and Real Estate. That's our certified machine repeat online auction partner. And how about this for round baler folks? A 2016 New Holland RB460, only 1,676 bales through this thing, uh, like new condition. Uh, this is a net and twine option barn cap. This thing's from Huntsville, Texas. Now there's also a John Deere 459 round baler from uh, Weathersford, Texas on the June 21st auction. This thing has 14,000 bales through it. And also while we're in Texas, I gotta tell you about this New Holland tractor on our auction, a 4630 two wheel drive. Folks, this only has 308 actual original hours on it, selling with a Woods 1027 loader comes out of Dublin, Texas. Now from there, let's head up my way to our great friends at Hamilton Auction Company covering uh, Southeast Minnesota and Wisconsin for us. And they have this Alice Chalmers 6080 from Valders, Wisconsin on our June 21st sale, mechanical front wheel drive. It was repainted three or four years ago and it sells with an Alice 200 plow. So it's got that going for it. Now they're also selling this International 1066 a classic model there and the owner's manual on it, you can probably see says that it was sold brand new August 24th of 1974, almost 50 years ago. Now, one other item on the sale folks, let's go to Eureka, Illinois for this 2014 Unverfurth 6225 grain cart, 625 bushel being represented by our great friend Corbin Richardson with 217 Egg Solutions. Stay tuned folks, coming up, we're gonna learn about a pair of 2022 model John Deere tractors from Heritage Tractor in Joplin, Missouri, a 5065E and a 5045E, both with loaders. Hey folks, time to welcome back special guest to the show here, Kurt Miller with Heritage Tractor. Kurt is the used equipment remarketing manager and Kurt, how are you doing today? Doing good. Thank you, Greg, for having me. You bet. Well, uh, last time we talked, Kurt was on the show here back in December when you put a 1973 John Deere 4430 with, gosh, I think it was just north of 2,000 hours on our Machine Repeat monthly online auction. And my friend, you set uh, a record, I think it sold for $45,250. bucks. i have seen over 2,500 4430s sold in my years, Kurt, and that's that's number one. That that was pretty fun. Yeah, that was fun. It was a special day for sure, and we were glad to put it on your auction and glad for the results and obviously glad for the guy that uh, that purchased it and hope he's uh, enjoying his 4430 for sure. 
Well, I'm sure he is. And then now on our June 21st auction, Kurt, we have a couple more tractors of yours from Heritage Tractor that uh, buyers are going to enjoy a pair of brand new John Deere uh, E-Series. Uh, can you tell us, uh, tell us about them? Yeah, so they're actually, that they will be considered used uh, tractors, uh, a 5065E with a 520M loader and a 5045E with a 520M loader. Uh, but you're right. I mean, they're, they're like new. Uh, the, the warranty has started on them. Um, basically less than, I think, two, three or four hours, something like that is what they'll have on it by the time the auction um, takes place. But these units, uh, you know, we put into our uh, rental fleet and uh, just, again, had a couple hours on them or less. And so we decided with the, the market and how strong the market's going and uh, how well your auctions have been, um, we decided, well, let's put these things on auction and let's try them out. Well, I tell you, one or two or three hours, folks, uh, get ready to click that bid button on these pair of 2022 models. Uh, and, uh, you know, just on the auction market, uh, in terms of 22 models with tractors, just haven't uh, hardly seen any of them, Kurt. So really a, a unique buying opportunity here on, the, on this pair of uh, basically like new tractors. Yeah, and, and, you know, pretty popular size tractor, 5065E, you know, 65 horsepower on the engine, about 50, 50 to 53 PTO horsepower, and then on the 5045E, 45 engine horsepower, and about 37 PTO horsepower. You know, I was thinking today, I was like, well, you know, who, who's the buyer on these? I think it opens a window for a lot of customers, um, even, you know, some even large ag customers that uh, maybe typically mow with a, uh, you know, maybe an older 44 series, 4430 or something, these would be a good, this 5065E would be a good mowing tractor and, and it would be light on the fuel because we know fuel is not cheap right now. So I think this thing, both these tractors would be, uh, you know, really premium purchases for just about any, anybody. And, and uh, like you said, like new, they're considered used, but they're, they're like new and, and they def, they're definitely nice um, and have warranty with them. Right. And let's talk about that warranty, Kurt, because that's always comes right to the top uh, in terms of adding value uh, when used tractors. So, well, in this case, you know, pretty much brand new. But can you uh, uh, run through the warranty specifics on the two tractors? Yeah. So the 5065, the 5065E with loader, um, it has factory warranty until the 14th of December of 2023 uh, or 2000 hours, whichever one occurs first. And then it has what they call a limited basic warranty um, through 14th of December, 2026 or 2000 hours. And so uh, that covers uh, a few specific items, but uh, for sure factory warranty on that unit until uh, December of 2023 or 2000 hours. And then the 5045E is pretty similar. Uh, it has the factory warranty until uh, 20th of November, 2023 or 2000 hours. And then that uh, limited basic warranty through the uh, 20th of November, 2026 for 2000 hours. So lots of warranty left um, that should give everybody that's purchasing these units a uh, peace of mind. And, and uh, that way they don't have to worry about uh, much when they get them home. That's for sure. Right. Well, that warranty again is just huge. And I know Kurt, I've seen these things like the, the 50, 65 E with loader, uh, advertised on our machinerepeat.com site as high as, you know, 60 to 64,000. And then on the 50, uh, 45 E little smaller horse, I've seen them listed 55 to 60,000. So on an absolute auction here, June 21st, uh, you know, with that warranty 22 models here, this really is a unique opportunity, like you say, for any number of different uses for folks to hop in and get themselves, uh, you know, shoot like new tractor. Exactly. Yep. And, and a good condition um, equipment we all know is bringing a premium right now and and uh, especially units that are low hours and have yeah. warranty they're just bringing a premium and and uh, your auction I'm sure will do well and and uh, these will be nice units for whoever wants to buy them. Well Kurt I appreciate you letting me under the hood over the years with uh, how you roll there with Heritage Tractor and how you guys treat your customers first class all the way your 21 locations Kansas Missouri and Arkansas uh, and again, thank you for putting these two uh, like new tractors, the 5065E and the 5045E uh, on our June 21st auction. Hey, stay tuned folks, a big announcement, I think that's gonna change the landscape of the used farm equipment auction market.
What's that piece of equipment worth? Check out Machine Repeats auction prices for the answer. Free to view, updated daily, all types of equipment. Go to machinerypeat.com and click on the auction tab, then auction price data. Hey folks, we have a special guest on our show here today. Uh, my friend Eric McPherson, founder and CEO, uh, owner of Dawson Tire and Wheel out in Gothenburg, Nebraska. Eric, how are you doing today? Good. How are you, Greg? Thanks for having me. Really looking forward to what we've got cooking. Yeah. And folks, we have something cooking that uh, we're very excited to tell you about. Um, now, I've known Eric for a little while and we got talking and Eric, you had a dream that you shared with me. And uh, let's uh, let's tell people about the dream. Yeah, thanks, Greg. I'm being in the tire and wheel business for going on 25 years now and focusing on ag tires and wheels, I really, really felt like the the ag producer world needed access to ag tires and wheels online and through the auction platform. And Greg, as you and I were talking, it seemed like the, the tire and wheel thing was an afterthought. You know, last couple of years has done a really good job of highlighting online equipment auctions, but I never felt that tires and wheels got the got the attention they deserved. And, and so really, really wanted to have a place in the market in the world where tires, ag tires and wheels specifically were the focus. So thanks for um, prodding me along, Greg. Well, Eric, when you shared your dream, I, I couldn't have been more on point with you uh, rolling the same direction. So folks, what we're creating within our Machine Repeat monthly online auction here, we're starting our own Machine Repeat uh, with our partners at Dawson Tire and Wheel, our own monthly egg tire and wheel auction uh, right within the auction. So uh, our next sale on June 21st at noon central, uh, Dawson Tire and Wheel, you guys are putting, I think it's 12 new sets of tires and three used on our uh, online auction. That's right, Greg, I'm really, Wanting it to be a, the most trusted place to buy egg tires and wheels in the online auction space. So really wanted to just, you know, leverage your integrity, Greg, and, and what you're bringing to the marketplace. And just so that buyers can buy with confidence. And, you know, I think Dawson Tires done a really good job of doing a, you know, representing properly what we're selling but wanting everyone to know that you know this isn't we're not just trying to get rid of junk that won't sell to anybody else this will be this will be items tires and wheels that can be used in different applications across north america and again it's not i'm cleaning up the fence rows and the stuff that no one's buying and then i'm going to be done we're this is a long-term long-term vision and we're committed to this right well i'm so excited about it eric because I'm, I'm with you i think the egg tires and wheels have been shoved to the background and just kind of an afterthought out there on sales and the prominence and importance of egg tires and wheels i mean everyone knows it's it's front and center in agriculture today and going forward so and you guys at dawson tire and wheel have stepped up uh folks have maybe seen it but your new app treadshire which folks, by the way, if you have not downloaded this app, please right now, go to your phone, go to the app store and download Treadshare because Eric, you built a database on all the tire manufacturers with all the tread depth with the idea that folks can measure accurately on used tires, what percentage of tread is left. I think it's brilliant. Yeah. And, you know, we work with equipment dealers across North America and you know, that was really the the impetus to, impetus to get that project off the ground but because they were asking us how to how to measure tread depth correctly and you know they've got sales people that are trading in equipment all the time and so and again i think it's right that there's there's a there's an app out there we we tried to make it easy so that you know the remaining tread depth on the tires and wheels you have and all of the used tires and wheels that we'll be selling will be treasure verified too, Greg. Right. And we'll have the report online along with the pictures to see how that goes. Right. I love it. Right. And again, your three sets of used tires on our June 21st auction, all with the treasure app. But again, 12 new sets of tires and you guys sell all 
manufacturers of tires there, Eric. I know we've got some irrigation tires, a little bit of everything on the auction here. So this is a the first uh, monthly Machine Repeat Dawson Tire and Wheel online auction, but uh, we're launching a ship here that's going to be something fantastic, I think. Stay tuned, folks. Coming up, our feature item on the June 21st online auction. A 1982 John Deere 4640, 1857 hours from Iowa. About the nicest 4640 I've ever seen. Got equipment to sell? Sell it on the Machine Repeat monthly online auction. Call 844-727-6374 and we'll connect you with one of our auction partners to get your equipment listed. Hey folks, I want to welcome in our special guest, the seller of our feature item on our June 21st Machine Repeat online auction. This is Bernie Poor, a retired John Deere engineer. Bernie, how are you doing today? Just fine. And Bernie, you told me quite some time ago about a particular tractor that you have. And you and I met at a event, gosh, was that five, six years ago? Maybe seven or I eight? I think now. it was in 2013. Oh, time flies, doesn't it? Yeah. But Bernie, I've enjoyed my conversations with you on the history of John Deere engineering and this tractor you are selling on our June 21st auction. Oh my goodness, 1982 John Deere 4640, 1857 actual one owner hours. Can you uh, tell us about it? Well, yeah, I, uh, I said I bought that new in 1982. They were you know, kind of a program on them. The 50 series had come out and nobody could afford them. So uh, <laughs> so we uh, we bought that I bought that tractor as I was you know part time farming over uh, where I grew up at uh, Council Bluffs and I was uh, oh just taking care of a couple hundred acres in my own name and uh, you know renting and custom farming some of the other so uh, that and the, uh, and the tractor is located over near Council Bluffs it's uh, located there at the Council Bluffs across from Bellevue on the Missouri River okay. So obviously hardly any hours on this thing. How, how did you use it over the years, Bernie? Well, you know, I just had a, a 22.9, uh, 235 disc and a 17.10 chisel plow and uh, a couple of different batwing mowers that I, uh, that I used. And then I, I did uh, have, I think, a 17.60 12-row uh, uh, planter and, and uh, some other stuff that... Uh, uh, that I, uh, you know, planted corn, beans, uh, you know, uh, the uh, mission was, uh, you know, go uh, plant corn, beans, hire some haul them to town, get money. Right. Well, I tell you this tractor, Bernie, uh, and I've told you before, uh, boy, these 40 series deer with low hours, one owner, they're just so hot. I think, in fact, the three highest 4640s I've ever seen sold at auction have been recently past couple of years. I know we saw one for 61,000 three years ago. Up my way in Minnesota, only had 826 hours on it. I tell you, you've, we've got 30 pictures of this 4640, and folks, you have to check it out. It's just a beautiful tractor. Uh, it's got 16 front weights, a 50 series radar monitor, 18.442 duels. Now, Bernie, that's not the only item you're selling on our June 21st machine repeat online auction. You have a very nice a Batwing mower, a John Deere 1518. That's correct, and it's uh, it's still hitched to the uh, tractor at the. Uh... Uh, becomes kind of a pain to uh, unhitch it because it's got the uh, heavy duty Walderscheid PTO and stuff. So it kind of sort of goes, uh, goes along well with the tractor. You bet. I know last month we just saw a record on a HX 15, a little newer one, 18,000 bucks on our monthly auction. But Bernie, your last item is a pickup, an amazing 05 Chevy 3500 dually with a Duramax diesel engine, 55,000 some miles on it. Can you tell us about this sweet rig? Yeah, I was, uh, you know, doing some camping and uh, doing some Alaska trips uh, with a slide in Lance camper. And, uh, and we, so we used that camper, went to Florida a few times and then uh, graduated to uh, more modern motorhomes. And uh, so the pickup has just kind of been used to uh, haul a trailer a little bit around the farm, moving a mini excavator and a few things. Right. And so it may be time to uh, find it a new home. Well, folks, take a look at this 04 Chevy 3500 dually diesel 55,000 miles on it. It's going to make someone a beautiful pickup. Well, folks, this is going to be quite a sale. June 21st, machinerypeat.com. Hop on, click that bid button. Do not miss out on that 1982 John Deere 4640 from Iowa, 1,857 hours on it. And our big announcement, we're creating a new monthly egg, tire, and wheel auction as part of our event. 
Now, if you've got something for sale, folks, our next sale is July 19th. Give us a call, 844-727-6374. Machine Repeat Monthly Online Auction. Thank you to Trelleborg and Mitas Tires as presenting sponsors of Machinery PTV Auction Edition.